Hi everybody, welcome to another evening with Sips tonight. We're taking a look at Human Resource Machine. Um, there you go, Human Resource Machine. Why am I playing this? Why do I play any game on an evening with Sips? I want to try it out, it looks pretty good. Apparently it's like a little management game. It looks really fun. I kind of like the idea of human resources. The music is really loud, I can't really um, hear what I'm saying. So if I'm uh, shouting a lot, I apologize in advance. Also, uh, before we start, sorry it's been a while since I last posted a video. Uh, I had a kid. Uh, me and my wife uh, just had our second child, who is now 10 days old. Uh, and if you've ever had a kid before, you understand how much work it is to have an kid. Uh, and uh, for the first couple of weeks, it's kind of crazy, so I haven't really been in. Uh, but I'm slowly getting back into the swing of things, so there should be videos soon. Anyway, let's do it. Human resources machine. Kablam. I don't even know how to start. Maybe we just click on Edna down here. Oh yeah, you do. Yes, please select your employee ID. Um, okay. I have your photo here somewhere. Which one is yours? Oh, well. It's gotta be this one, right? <laughs> it looks just like me. Yes, that photo looks just like you. Great, I'm employee number one. Here is your badge. Oh, great. Please proceed to the elevator. Alright, I'm like Don Draper. This is great. Welcome, employees. Mailroom. Oh, okay, fine. Mailroom, year one. Oh, this is like, oh my god, welcome to your first day. Alright, you look like an excellent instruction follower. You're right, I am. Look at me. That They told me how to put my eyeliner on and I did it right. First try, look, it's really good. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. Alright. Good. Inbox and outbox. Drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the what? No. No, 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 no. No, I, I'm not ready for this. Okay, so I put this in here. Run your program whenever you're ready. Okay. In... Okay. Oh, I see! Not enough stuff in the outbox! Management expected a total of three items, not one! Alright. This is fucking awesome! <laughs> Run your program whenever you're ready. Okay, so how do I do like a repeat? I only have these two things, inbox and then outbox. So what do I do? I go like inbox, inbox, inbox. So do I do inbox, 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 outbox? Can I do this? No. No. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't do that. Bad outbox. Management expected seven, but you outboxed one. Stop and reset. Okay, fine. We have to step back and debug now. Where did we go wrong? I'll tell you where we went wrong. All right. So we want to do inbox. Outbox? Inbox? Outbox? Inbox? Outbox? <laughs> Does that work? Is there like a commit? This has to work, right? Yep. Okay, one. Yes, it's working! Okay, great. Here it comes. This is a quite a busy mail room. There's lots of parcels with numbers coming in. Did we do it? Oh, man. That is fantastic. Your presence is requested on the next floor. Continue to elevator. No problem, Edna. I'll be right there. Busy mail room. I don't know if I'm ready for the busy mail room just yet. I only just got to grips with the normal mail room. Anyway, busy mail room. Year two. Oh my god, a year has advanced. I'm still wearing the same auto, auto exec. All right. Well, it looks like you've made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. But I can tell you have a bright future in the inbox outbox management. Here is your new assignment. Oh, grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one into the outbox. You got a new command. You can drag jump's arrow to jump to different lines within your program. Nice. Okay, is there anything I need to know? Hello? Tell me more. Your new command is very powerful. You can drag your jump arrow forward with your program to skip entire sections. Or you can jump backwards to create loops. It's going to change everything. Alright, okay, so we can make like... Okay, so let's go to the inbox, okay? Um, and then let's go to the outbox. And then let's jump back here. That's gonna be... That's gonna like make like an infinite loop though, right? It's, we're never gonna end. We need like a conditional thing at the end to say like, if this is empty, then 
we're done and then jump forward to like the done thing so we, we can try that but i think it'll just get stuck forever anyway let's try it and see what happens all right here we go the a is on the out this is the busy one slide to walk faster oh i see okay that's pretty cool all right so he's going back Maybe this will just conditionally jump out when there's nothing to get from the inbox and the out. Like, maybe it'll just jump over? Possibly? We'll have to see. Do we want to slide to walk faster? I'm actually just kind of enjoying watching this guy do his thing here. Look at this. He's got his makeup on. He's got his cute little suit on. He looks like a little baby wearing, like, a business suit. Did we do it? Oh, man. That was easy as shit. Look at that. We didn't even need conditionals. Your presence is requested on the next floor. No problem. Wow, Edna has packed it on a little bit since the last time. She's aged a little bit as well. She's got new hairdo. She's got some, uh... I mean, a year is a long time in the fashion industry as well, right? Like, fashions do change and, like, things come about again. Uh, when they were once popular, like, back in the 40s when this style of glasses was popular. This year, they're all the rage once again, as is the sort of purple, um... Cardigan and scarf ensemble? Edna, I just don't know what the fuck you're thinking, actually. All right. A copy floor. Oh, my God. Look at this. We're really... Whoa. Look. Oh, my God. Look at how big this is. Jeez. Jeez. All right. We've got a long way to go. We've made it to the copy floor anyway. Oh, fuck. This game is awesome. This is so much fun. Holy shit. Oh, no. The inbox conveyor system is completely broken. No, you don't say. But that doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. All right, okay. Ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to the outbox. Bug. The facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If only there were a way you could pick them up. Oh, do I have to, like, copy from? Tell me more. Bzz, bzz. Hello, maintenance department. Our conveyor system is broken up here. Productivity is down 40%. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Clearly. We'll see about that. Click. Well, the maintenance department says it's working fine down there. Oh. Okay, so these are all wrong. So, okay, fine. So, we don't want to go to inbox. I think we're going to copy from here. There. Copy from four. And then we want to go to the outbox. Then we want to do a copy from here. And then go to the outbox. And then we want to do a copy from here. And then go to the outbox. And we're done. Right? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Do we have to do it in the reverse order? Because it says gub now. Maybe that's wrong? Nope. Oh, it was right. Your presence is requested on the next floor. Continue to the elevator. Ah, no problem. This is so easy. This is like the easiest game. Scrambler handler. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Scrambler whatever. I got this in the bag. The conveyor system is fixed. I'm just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate itself. Alright. Uh, grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Oh, okay. So we have to drop them into the reverse order. So we're gonna have to put them in here. Copy. So we have to take that copy to and then copy from in the reverse order and then put them out and then jump. We should be able to do that, like, really efficiently, actually. All right, fine. So, we want to go, uh, we want to do a copy from here. So, copies from zero. Um, and then we want to do a copy to zero. From copy one. Copy from zero and then copy to zero. And then we do want to do a copy from, z not zero. Not zero. It, oh, you can only copy from here, I see. Okay, we want to clear this up. We want to clear all this. Way. All right, so we want to go to the inbox uh, and we want to grab this thing and put it here, right? So it's going to put it, is it going to put it here every time? And then we want to copy from, wait a second. Do we want to copy from? We want to copy from here and then we want to copy to no, we don't want to copy to there. What am I talking about? We want to undo that. We want to copy from there and then go to the outbox. And then we want to go to the inbox. And then we want to copy... Wait a second. That's not going to work, is it? Because that one's going to come off first. That one's going to come off first and it has to go in the reverse order, right? So that one has to come off. So we have to copy that one from one. All right. So this copy from needs to be changed to one. 
to get the right one. And that has to go to the out box after the inbox is bit. So the inbox will load that one, and that's fine. And then it'll try to copy from one. Okay, so we have to go inbox, and then we have to go inbox as well. And then copy from one, outbox, and then copy from zero, outbox. Get rid of that. Jump. Like that, right? Is that gonna work? Let's try it. Nope. Empty value, you can't copy from with an empty tile on the floor. Try writing something to that tile first. Okay, so we have to stop this. Okay, so we go inbox. Oh, of course, we haven't, like, said. So we want to copy from... Wait, does copy from work in this case? Can we copy from, like, here? No, I don't... You can't. So can we say copy to here? From where, though? Copy to? Hang on a sec. Does this work? Well, that does not work at all. I take it all back. This is, like, kind of hard, actually. Okay, so if I take this from the inbox, and then I put that to the... Wait, copy to... Oh, I see. Okay, so I copy from zero. And then I go back to the inbox. And then I do a copy to one. Yes, okay, this might work. All right, so inbox, copy to zero. Inbox, copy to one. Take the five. Take the two. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, it's working. All right, so the copy from and the copy to thing is kind of weird, but I think this is the way that you do it. All right, so it jumps back up, and then we put the three there, and we, why is he throwing one away though? Have we wasted stuff? And we get the six, we get the three, and we should be good. Are we good? It's reading the mail and, yay! <laughs> oh, scrambler handler. Your presence is requested on the next floor. Edna has not changed this year at all. Maybe she's just entered that twilight um, stage of her life where she's not going to change any further from this point. Look, she's decided that this is the fashion, much like me. I still dress like a skateboarder from the 90s. I'm like 35 years old. <laughs> that's what happens with fashion. Also, apparently that's what happens with music too. You just listen to the same shit over and over and over for the rest of your life. All right, continued elevator. Coffee time. Oh, fucking fantastic. Just what I need. It's taken us five years, but finally we get to enjoy coffee with, uh, wow! It's like the three stages of Edna! Look, we have sort of like, uh, middle-aged, burnt-out Edna, young Edna, she's all keen, and then really old Edna. Oh. Regions of the city continue to experience power failure. Oh, no. Local authorities are investigating. Oh, good. Thanks for the update. Oh. Yeah, we are having some power failures. Does that mean that year five is going to be the year of uh, rainy summer? Oh, wow, look at this. You can, like, actually go down and do these ones, but then you can, like, follow. Whoa, look, there's another employee morale insertion. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. All right, fine. Rainy summer. Rainy summer, year six. Oh, it sure is raining. Ugh. Welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math. So I have only three fingers on each hand, but I hear you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. Well, that's probably true, actually. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. All right, sure. You got a new command. It adds the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you're currently holding. Uh, okay, so we have to add two things together and put them in the outbox. All right, well, that's really easy. Okay, so we're going to go to the inbox. Uh, we're going to uh, copy to here, and then we're going to go to the inbox, and then we're going to copy to here, and then we're going to add this and whoop, that. Hang on a second. Tell me more. Do a good job. Our careers depend on this. Hang on a second. Hello again. <laughs> Give me an example. We don't need an example. What does it say? I was never very good at math. Blah, 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 blah. But here you don't actually need to know very much. Blah, blah. All right. You got a new command. It adds the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you're currently holding. Oh, I see. So we don't actually want to copy two in this case. We actually want to add this value to here, which is right, actually. Uh, and then when it's done, we want to copy from here. Uh, and then we want to go to the outbox. And then we want to jump back and do it all again. Am I right or am I right? Pretty sure I'm right. All right. Put a five. We're adding it to... No! No! <laughs> no! What the hell? 
Okay, so a after we've added it, we have to place it on one and then grab from one. Okay, you outbox five. Okay, I get it. I've got it. All right, so we then copy from... Uh, so actually, so we do the add, and then we do a copy to one. And then we do a copy from one. And then we're good, right? We're going to use that as our... Okay, so we got an eight. And then we're adding an eight together for 16. And we're taking the 16 and we're outputting it. Yes. All right. And then we're going to take a two. And then we're going to take an eight and add it to that for 10. And then we're going to take that and we're going to output it. Yeah. Oh, man. This is awesome. Uh, I wish, like, all of my programming jobs had this. So it would be so much more fun to program with this little guy running around and, like, getting all of the values and stuff. Holy crap. That would have been great. Well. Oh. I guess this game exists now for that, so there we go. I did it! Oh my god. I'm like a human resources dynamo. Your presence is requested on the next floor. No problem, Edna. I'm heading straight there. Ooh, tripler room and zero exterminator. Ah. So what happens if we go to the tetracontiplier and the octiplier suite? Oh, look at this. This is really cool. So I guess we do these and then we can just come back and do this one after? All right, maybe we have to do them in order though. Like it says seven and then eight. Should we skip one and do eight instead? It's year eight in the tripler room. Oh my God, what happened to Benny? He's gone. Who are you? This optional area is for high performing employees only. Is that you? Well, you bet your ass it is. Well, you're late. Seven years late. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see a 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Oh, okay, fine. For each thing in the inbox, triple it and outbox the result. Oh, that's no problem. All right, so we go to the inbox, right? Uh, and then we copy it to here. And then uh, we also go to the inbox again. Oh, we have to triple it. Oh, I see. Okay, so then... Alright, so we take the value and we put it there. Uh, and then we... Do we also want to, like, copy to... I think we're going to have to copy to one as well, so that we have the value. And then I think we're going to have to copy to... Uh... Two as well? We're going to... Can we actually do this? Wait, so we take that, we copy it, we copy it, we copy it. Not enough stuff in the outbox. Okay, yeah, fine. All right, so we can get three of the values and we have to triple it, okay? So then we want to add zero uh, and add one. What's that going to give us? Let's see. Am I even holding anything after this one? Yeah, and then, yeah. Okay, that's tripled. Right, okay, we've got this. All right. And then we want to um, copy to, no, we want to copy from, or are we still holding it? Then do we just go straight to the outbox? Let's see. Okay, one, two, three. Add it, triple it, and then take it to the outbox. Not enough stuff in the outbox. Okay, perfect, we've done it. So once we do that, we do the jump. And we're done. That's right. Okay, so we copy one to each. We don't actually need to copy this one at all. Okay, look it. Let's. We don't need to do this copy step at all. Okay. We just need this one because he's still holding a copy of it. See? So one. So we tripled it. Great. We take it back. We take num minus seven. We do the bizzo with it. We've done it. Oh yes. Oh man, it's so satisfying building something and watching it work. It's like so good. Okay, here we go. 18 on the belt. And for our last one, oh, our last value is zero. So we actually didn't really need to do this, but we'll do it anyway. There. Three times zero is a zero. We did it. The tripler room. Size challenge, use six or fewer commands. Your current solution uses seven. Speed challenge, complete in 24 fewer steps. Your solution completes in 28 steps on average. These challenges can be very difficult and in many cases not possible to optimize both simultaneously with one solution. Oh, okay, so this, this is like optimum efficiency and I'm a little bit short on both counts. Bah, I'm an underachiever. A completion is still a completion. Oh man, that is so cool. All right. 
I think maybe we should actually do the zero exterminator one now because we have to sort of do them in order because jumping ahead to like the octoplex Fuck it. Fuck it. It's year 10. I'm doing the octoplayer suite. All right, we're going out with a bang Yes, you can always check your own performance on each assignments optimization challenges two green lights next to each button in the elevator will tell you how you're doing Okay, is there anything in life more thrilling than self-improvement? No, there isn't for each thing in the inbox multiply it by eight Shit and put the result in the outbox using a bunch of ad commands is easy, but wasteful you can do it using only Can you do it using only three ad commands management is watching? I'm sure I can you know all right, so we want to go to the inbox uh, And we want to copy to Here so how many did we do we were able to triple it with three so we should be able to do it with okay So we want to copy to Here as well, and I think we probably want to copy to here as well, and then we want to add that, that, and that, and then we want to take the output, and then we want to jump back up to here. How many times is that going to do it? So six. All right. So we do it by one, two, and then three. That's not right. Oh god, forty-eight, but twenty-four. Okay, so we still have some a ways to go. So we have to do a copy to three as well and then we have to do a copy to four as well and then we're gonna have to uh, add three times it says try to do it with only three ads I don't know if that's gonna be possible let's see anyway oh no of course we're just gonna get the same thing so we copied it to more but we said three oh I wonder actually if oh maybe we do maybe because we're doing all the ads at the back maybe we need to like do a copy to and then add a copy to and then add and then a copy to and then add like that you think that might work let's try it because then it'll like see we're adding it and then adding it oh yeah so now we got 16 it's still wait is that right <laughs> i think it's right <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> we just sort of stumbled onto that one. Hey, this is pretty good. It can't be more efficient than this, right? In the Octiplier? Yeah, here we go. Look at these big numbers. Boom! 56. No problem. Look at him go. Man, what a dynamo. And of course, this one is just going to be zero. I don't know. Is there always like a zero option? Because we could have maybe done it in less with zero. We can't conditionally test, though. This is the thing. All right, the Octoplayer Suite, we used nine. Oh my god, we did it! 36 steps, whoa! We did it! Wow, that was great! These challenges can be very difficult, no problem! Look at that, the um, young whippersnapper Edna is very, very pleased with my performance on that one. Holy shit, no problem. Oh man, oh fuck me, look at that! We got both green lines, whoa, look at that! Oh, I didn't realize. Look, we're getting graded with these green lights on the elevator. So we didn't do these ones like super efficiently, but this one we managed to. Okay, fine. Well, it's only taken me like, what, 10 levels to like sort of start to figure out this game out. But uh, so far, so good. Holy shit, human resources machine. Uh, it's like a really fun and fancy like uh, programming. <laughs> game uh but it's really fun it's a, it's a nice little puzzle game um it's very fun i'm really surprised actually i thought it would be a lot different to this uh but i've enjoyed this and we'll probably play it through uh having said that i could probably finish it up on stream uh when i finally get around to uh streaming again which should be likely next week at this rate uh with the way things are going uh like i said at the start of the video I'm sort of slowly getting back into the swing of things. I got a lot of catching up to do. I've been off for about two weeks, uh, and even next week coming back to it, probably only be sort of a couple hours a day. Um, so videos will start to um, uh, start coming out again, uh, and then uh, before long streams as well. I think this would be an ideal one to finish up on stream and then to put it uh, up onto the um, uh, Sips Live channel uh, when it's all done. So I'll probably do that. Unless you have uh, other ideas and you'd like to see me uh, continue this on YouTube, uh, in which case uh, I'm fine with that as well. You'll just have to let me know. Uh, but there you go. Another evening with Sips after a bit of an absence. Uh, once again, sorry about that, but I am sort of back now. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, and you can expect more from me very soon.
great. All right, well, as usual, thanks very much for watching. If you want to get this, you can grab it on Steam. Um, the guys that made this game gave me a code for it. I'm very grateful for that. I love getting free games. I love playing games free. I also love paying for games as well, uh, when they're good games. I mean, you, nobody likes to buy shitty games. Uh, but even if I hadn't been given a code uh, for this, uh, if I'd seen more about it, um, I would have probably uh, bought it and played it through uh, because it's very fun. Excellent. All right. Well, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.